Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to the two predictions. I'm not sure how many of these games are going to head um, for the midweek because of the storm we're currently having as I'm recording this. Hopefully all of them will go ahead, some of them might not, we're going to have to wait and see. But as I'm recording this, all games are going ahead. Um, but anyway guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. I sell my merch, the link for my merch down in the description below. So feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, but let's get this video underway. A lot to talk about. A few uh, surprising results. So guys, anyway, you know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Bradford vs Stevenage. Um, Bradford won one at home to Grimsby. Um, Stevenage loses 2-1 away to Exeter. That's not a bad result for Stevenage overall. If you think you're a company sitting third, um, I think I put Stevenage down to win that game for a bit of a shock, but it didn't happen. So, you know, I will still well it says a bad result for Stevenage. If you're a Stevenage fan, please tell me how you feel about that result down in the comments below. Um, but, you know, going up against Bradford's side this week, um, oh, sorry, this midweek, Stevenage, let's go over to her form table, and I'll give you my prediction. Um, Bradford pick up three points from their last five games, Stevenage basically doing the same thing, picking up three points from their last five games, so... For this one, I'm going to go for a Bradford win, and I'm going to go for a 1 nil Bradford win. My next one is Carlisle versus Cheltenham. Cheltenham losing 1 nil away to Scunthorpe. Carlisle join 1 1 at home to Swindon Town. Great point for Carlisle, uh, this point day for Cheltenham. Um, Cheltenham currently sitting in 7th place with uh, picking 7 points up from their last 5 games. Uh, Carlisle are currently in 20th, doing a great job picking up 9 points out of their last 5 games and not lost a game in their last 5 either. So with this one, I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Colchester versus Grimsby Town. Um, Colchester beating Plymouth 3-0 at home great three points there for uh, Colchester Grimsby Town drawing 1-1 away to Bradford um, this game could be quite an interesting one um, let's go to Colchester first Colchester picking 8 points up from their last 5 games Grimsby Town picking up 5 points from their last 5 games and not lost in their last 3 um, I'm going to go for a Colchester win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Colchester win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Crawley Town. Crew Alexander beating Oldham Athletic 2-1 at home. Great three points there for uh, Crew. Um, Crew up currently sitting in second place as well. Um, Crawley drawing nil-nil away to Salford City. Uh, great point for Crawley Town, I do think. Now, Crawley are currently in 12th, uh, picking up 8 points from their last 5 games. That's currently sitting on 40 points, just 8 points out of the player places. Um, on the other side of that, as I said, Crew are in second. They picking up an amazing 11 points from their last five games. So, you know, on the confidence side, our crew just probably more slightly confident. Um, I'm going to go for a crew win. And I'm just going to, I think it's going to be tight, but I'll go for a 1-0 crew win for that one. My next one is Exeter City versus Oldham. Exeter, Exeter City beating Stevenage 2-1 away from home. Oldham loses 2-1 away 
squared. And extra coming in in third, three points of the playoffs. Oldham commonly sitting in 17th. Um, Oldham have commonly picked up eight points from their last five games. Uh, Exeter uh, picking up seven points from their last five games. Slightly better. Um, you know, that's their first win in four. So confidence wise, this could be quite a confident game for Exeter. If they win it, which I'm going to predict them to do, and I'm going to predict them to win it 3 1 to Exeter City. My next one is Forest Green Rovers versus Port Vale. Forest Green, yet again, another disappointing day for Forest Green. Um, losing 2 1 at home to Walsall. Uh, I, I was at a game at that time, and, um, you know, Forest Green really have gone down in the past few weeks I'll talk about our form table in just a minute and um, Port Vale yet yeah, going to have a great three points beating Northampton Town one deal away from home and um, right let's go over to the Forest Green side first Forest Green have not won a game in their last five uh, only pick up the one point as, as I said they've let themselves go over the past few weeks they were doing so well and Coming near the crucial time of the table, they've let themselves go. Um, Port Vale, on the other hand, picking up 10 points from their last five games and only out of the playoffs on goal difference by 17 goals. I'm going to predict Port Vale to win this game and I'm going to predict a 2 0 Port Vale win for that one. My next one is Lake Norman versus Mansfield. Uh, Mansfield drawing 1-1 one, one away uh, to Morecambe. Um, Lake Norian drawing 1-1 one, one at home to Macclesfield. Great point for Lake Norian, I personally do think. Um, this table's got to be quite tight. You've got Lake Norian in 19th place with 35 points, picking up 8 points out of the last 5 games. You've got Mansfield um, currently sitting in 21st, 32 points. With uh, picking up five points out of the last five games, I'm gonna go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Newport County versus Walsall. Walsall had a great result. I've already just said this, but on the Walsall side, I'll say more about it now. Um, Walsall beating Forest Green Rovers 2-1 away from home. Newport losing 1-0 at home to Cambridge. Walsall had a great three points there. Um, you know, fair play to Walsall for actually doing that. Uh, as I said, Forest Green have been down of late. But for Walsall to actually, you know, pick up their first win in four games, that's crucial to Walsall's confidence. Um... Who knows, maybe even a late push for the playoffs, but we're going to have to wait and see. Um, we're close to the table, both with 39 points. Both only picking up six points out of the last five games. I'm going to predict another draw, and I'm going to predict a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next game is Morecambe versus Macclesfield. Macclesfield drawing 1-1 away to Lake Norian. Morecambe drawing 1-1 one, one at home to Mansfield. Um, these two are pretty close in the table. You've got Mansfield in 21st, Morecambe in 22nd. Uh, Macclesfield on 29 points, picking up 5 points from the last 3 games. Mansfield on 32 points, picking up 5 points from the last 5 games. So for this one, I'll go for a 0-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Northampton Town versus Swindon Town. Northampton Town losing 1-0 at home to Port Vale. Um, as I said, great three points for Port Vale. Disappointing day for Northampton Town. Uh, Swindon Town 1-1 one, one away to, uh, to Carlisle. Um, Northampton Town still currently sitting in the playoffs, so picked up. 10 points at their last five games. Um, Swindon Town sitting top of the table, 
and picking up seven points from the last five games. Um, I think this one could be a quite a tough game. I think it's going to be a very nitty game as well, but I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Salford City versus Plymouth Argyle. Salford City, nil nil at home to Crawley. Um, you know, for Good point for uh, Salford there, uh, how tight it is between um, Port Vale, uh, between Crawley and Salford. Um, so, you know, that's what I said, fair play to them. Um, Plymouth losing 3 0 away to Colchester. Over to the form table. Plymouth have picked up 10 points at their last five games and Coming on 54 points. Uh, Salford picked up 9 points from their last 5 games, coming in on 41 points. This game is crucial. Um, I really do think for Plymouth, I'm going to go for another draw and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My last one for this midweek is Scunford versus Cambridge. Scunford beating Cheltenham Town 1-0 at home. Great three points for Scunford there. Uh, Cambridge beating Newport County 1-0 away from home. Great three points for Cambridge there as well. Um, I'll go over to the form table and I'll just speak about these two for a little bit. Um, Scunford coming on 36 points with... Five points out of their last five games. Um, Cambridge uh, are current. They have done uh, seven points with 38 points out of their last five games. Um, these two are tight. Two points between them. Could be a table changing game. I'm going to predict a lot. And I'm going to go for a nil nil scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a like, big part of what you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Click on my um, icon up in the corner to subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.